What is up, guys? Look at this. Full stack video, 10 years of stacking, which hasn't happened just yet. It will be in March of 2022, which will be the official 10 years of me stacking. But regardless, um, this channel started as a vlog to kind of track my progress when it comes to um, gold and silver. And um, it's really cool to see how much the stack has grown over the last two years. Last time I've done a full stack video was two years ago. And then I wanna say about four years prior to that. So um, really cool to see the gains. And uh, this is 1,250 ounces, roughly, maybe a little bit more of silver and 45 ounces of gold. Now, just to put it into perspective, two years ago, guys, I had 500 ounces of silver and five ounces of gold. So that's how much I've managed to accumulate just in two short years. So um, it's been a journey. It has been um, a tough journey, I should say. And this is not really to flaunt, guys. This is not the purpose of this. It is uh, for exactly what I just said, to track progress and um, to give advice along the way. If you wanna get to this level, and by no means is this the biggest stack you will see on YouTube. No way, no how, but it is still a massive accomplishment. And what I've done, especially over the last two years, and uh, I, I had a ton, and when I say a ton, I mean a ton, of credit card debt, about $40,000 worth of credit card debt two years ago. And paying off that debt is what really um, gave me room to start doing what I love and uh, putting away money. This is essentially money that is being saved, especially with the dollar that's uh, losing value every single day. Um, it, is, it is quite a feat for me, especially um, and the journey has been really awesome with the channel and you guys and everything. So um, a word of advice, if you have a credit card debt, I'm telling you right now, you will stack double or even triple as fast um, if you can get rid of that debt. And I've noticed it uh, 100%. It made a massive difference once I finally got out of that debt. So a little thing about how I got here. 10 years of stacking, I started in 2012 um, at the high end of silver and the high end of gold at the time. And uh, it, it's been really, really hard to put money aside to start doing this. And that is why I pretty much started the channel to kind of uh, relate to a lot of you that are struggling or have trouble saving money um, or you know not financially independent just yet. And um, I've been there, I have been there. Um, when I started this channel, I had a, a pool business that was not doing too good and I had to liquidate a lot of my stack. And when I say a lot, almost all of my stack and the progress of when I started the full stack videos was actually the rebuilding of this stack that you see now 10 years later. So no matter what, when you guys see these videos and there's a ton of stuff Try not to take it as um, showing off. Try not to take it as you'll never get there. Don't be disheartened by how much others have because if you keep going, you will get there eventually too as long as you don't give up and as long as you are smart financially, especially by getting rid of all your debt, as much debt as possible. You don't wanna be stacking when you have a lot of debt and you definitely don't want to buy stuff with debt because then it defeats the purpose, right? So anyways, guys, it's been a journey. It has not been easy. And this is my full stack video after 10 hard years. So if anything, take this video as motivation, guys. We're gonna go over everything I have on the table. Um, it's amazing to see how much my stack has changed just in two years as far as um, some pieces going, some pieces coming. And um, I've actually lateraled a lot of my silver. I would have had a lot more silver 
had I not gone um, deeper into gold um, over the last two years. So um, I've managed to add 700 ounces of silver in two years and 40 ounces of gold in two years. So um, just, I'm really proud of myself <laughs> to get here and uh, you can do it too. So anyways, guys, uh, here we go. This is 10 years of stacking, buying, selling, so on and so forth. You guys know that I also uh, do an auction every Monday night. I sell a lot of things. So this is what is in my personal stack. This is not any of this stuff on the table is not inventory. I have a whole nother thing for inventory. Um, also another note, once you get this much stuff, uh, it's probably better that you do not keep it all in your house. So I do not keep this all in my house. I do keep um, uh, several portions of it in two other places and I keep very little at home. So uh, you, don't, you don't wanna keep your eggs in one basket, right? God forbid someone breaks in. I'm in Florida, there's hurricanes, you never know. So I don't keep it all in one place and that's why it actually took me a long time to get all this together to do this video and that's actually why it's taken me two years to do another one. So um, just a word of advice, if you can uh, figure out another place to put it, it's good to separate your stack or have it in different places. So, uh, you know, either someone you trust or uh, on a off property somewhere, whatever, you'll figure it out. But um, I don't suggest keeping it all in one place. So anyways, here we go, guys. So we've got, this is all junk silver. I know a lot of guys that do the videos like to pour it out, but I am way too lazy for that. So I just have it here. Here's some more. This is about $250 in face value. I had more, but I did sell some and it has since uh, gone down just a little bit. Then, if you guys remember for a long time, I was collecting these Queen's Beasts and I was trying to do the whole series. I've given up <laughs> uh, and I've only kept the three that I really, really like. I'm sorry, the four that I really, really like, which we'll get to in a minute. This is a 10 ounce Year of the Dragon, one of the coolest designs of the Lunar series, especially in a 10 ounce. So I have that and this is also the year that I started stacking. 2012 i actually bought this recently to kind of commemorate my 10 year anniversary so that's a little 10 year anniversary piece right there that is the year i started then i have this gorgeous one this is my favorite 10 ounce 2018 south korean tiger um look at the details on this there is a video that i did on this coin if you do want to get all up on it make sure you check that out you'll find that video but really really nice and um, by far one of my favorites. Then we got the Griffin, 10 ounce Griffin. Once again, from the Queen's Beast, we got a 2018 Valiant, which is the first year they did the 10 ounce Valiant, really cool. And uh, pretty similar to the other ones they released. It's a little bit different with the finish, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Then we got the 10 ounce Unicorn, Queen's Beast again, and the Lion of England right here. Another 10 ounce Queen's Beast. So that is the 10 ounce. Um, once again, that 10 ounce collection was actually a lot bigger at some point and it's been uh, reduced. Then I've got, if you guys don't know, this is actually how pandas come. They come in this plastic and uh, you get like a bunch of a bunch of them. They're all stacked on each other. It's pretty cool. Uh, at one point I had a hundred that I resold. So I saved some of these plastic cases and started kind of putting them in here. So this is a uh, 2007, 2008 so on and so forth. I'm missing one right there, which eventually I'll get, but that is um, the pandas. You guys know I like the pandas. I know a lot of you don't, but I do. Then we got the Viking versus the dragon, 10 ounce pour from uh, Monarch, Precious Metals. This is also a really neat piece. I did a video on this as well, if you wanna check that out. Uh, it comes in an oak wood box right there. I'm just gonna slap it there. Uh, then we got five ounce bars, sunshine mint bars right there at about 20 ounces worth. Also, that was something I had a lot more of, but you know, sold. In the middle, uh, these are the coins that have stuck with me for the last 10 years. Uh, miscellaneous coins, mostly uh, either series I really like 
or uh, expensive coins. For an example, we got a Queen's Anne Revenge right there. Um, and we got uh, the Royal Fortune, which is a pretty expensive one. Then we got a Marvel coin, the Wolverine. Not the air. I do have the errors, but it is not here, actually. I don't even know where I have it. But regardless, here we go. So you got the Kingdom of Bhutan. I was doing these Lunar Series uh, from the Kingdom of Bhutan. Really nice. Then we got some uh, miscellaneous Libertads, some Kookaburras. Then we got uh, the Batman, which is a hot coin and is going to continue to get hot. Pretty new um, series. We got the Wonder Woman. Um, we got the Germania there. The Brumby from Australia. Some more Kookaburras and Koalas. And uh, let's see what else. We got the Double Piksu. This is a really cool design. So I kept that because I like it. And uh, this is one of my favorite designs out of the Double Series right here, we got the tiger versus the dragon. Really neat coin. And my favorite, Barbados Trident, which was the first year they did it in 2017. Really cool. Scottsdale Mint makes those. We got a Zeus, and I should have another Zeus somewhere. I don't know where. Um, then we got, we got a Hades. We got Thor, Poseidon from the gods of Olympus that... Uh, Chase coin in the Marvel series, the Spider-Man, more Marvel, South Korean Tiger. That's the first year of issue right there. A lot of first years I got here. Venom, so on and so forth. More Germania. And Bart Simpson. Of course, you got to have a Bart Simpson if you like the Simpsons. We got the Oak Leaf. You got to have, if you're going to do the Fafmir, it's kind of cool to have two. Because of the whole tail thing. They have a double capsule that you could fit it just like that. And the tail kind of wraps around. So if I ever decide to get it, I have two already. They're expensive now. Uh, Oriental Border Britannia. We got the Michael right here from the Ukraine. This is a one of my favorite coins still to this day right there. And a random panda. Then we got one ounce bars, mostly sunshine mint. We got uh, the lion, the Una lion right here. This is also a Scottsdale mint thing here. These are really nice. I got five of those and more Sunshine Mint. Then we got some Asahi one ounce bars. I like them because they have the, <clears throat> the serial number on them right there. Pretty cool. And then we got some of the dragons from the Perth Mint. These have gotten ridiculously expensive. And uh, I think there's four in the series. I only have three, which is a little upsetting, but let's get on the other side here. All right, so here we got some Canadian stuff. We got some random maples and some other Canadian coins. This is a mixed roll, and it's 25 to a roll, and another 25 right there of the Canadian stuff. 10 ounce tombstone. I love these things. Really nice from Scottsdale Mint. Then we got, this is actually a new addition. I might do a separate video on this, actually. <clears throat> it is the 100 ounce Scottsdale Mint. Uh, long cast. This thing's awesome. So yeah, I'll probably do a separate video showing this puppy off, but really, really neat. And uh, it feels pretty cool in the hand because it's so distributed. And uh, usually the 100 ounce bars are like this, chunkers like this, Inglehard. So yeah, there you go. So there's a 100 ounce Inglehard and the 100 ounce Scottsdale Mint. That's a new addition, by the way. Just bought that. Uh, some more pandas. I was doing this for a while, the MS-71 release, and then I kind of lost steam once they changed over to the 30 gram. I sort of lost interest. Uh, I don't know why, but I might keep it going since I've already done, I don't know, how many years? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've already done eight years. Maybe I'll try and get to 10 years, and then I don't know. We'll see. But um, I've got some collectible coins here that were not here two years ago. Uh, 1917 Type 2 MS-62 Stand in Liberty Quarter. Um, I'm gonna start doing these commemorative coins right here. So as you guys know, there's modern commems and these are the original commems right here, 50 cent. This is the Pilgrim with the date, so a little bit more rare, MS-65. That's a cool coin, that's about a $200 coin right there. And then, this is my prize right here, guys. The 1892 CC MS-63. And this is about a $2,500 Morgan. 
um, Carson City Morgan. This is definitely one of the rarer ones and it is super expensive, 2,500. And then these are other CCs that I have right here. These are about $500 or 400 bucks each. Then we've got my 10 ounce bars. I love 10 ounce bars, Sunshine Mint, Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, we have the Britannia, which uh, this was standard Boolean, <laughs> these Britannias for a long time. And then all of a sudden they got ridiculously expensive and now they're about 380 bucks each. But there you go. So some more 10 ounce bars. We got a generic 10 ounce bar, another generic, another generic. We got a 10 ounce Samurai. And then we got two kilos. We got the Germania Kilo. These are nice, wrapped in plastic. It's got the COA in the back. Super nice. Wall Street Kilo. As you can tell, I like Scottsdale Mint. I got a lot of their stuff. Um, then we got the Geigers, 10 ounce. Three of those puppies. The new Italian silver bars, five of those, five ounces. Uh, these are pretty cheap, actually. They're going to start coming down in premium as they start entering the country. They're uh, basically new, so they just started distribution here. But if you wait a little bit, they're going to start coming down. And these are probably going to be pretty popular. They're pretty sharp bars. So then we got Silver Eagles, a bunch of them. So it's about a half of a monster box. There's 500 in a monster box. There's 250 ounces um, of Eagles here. I got lazy, didn't pour these out, but this is another um, 100 ounces worth of Eagles right here. I just kept them in there. All right, then we got my Palladium full stack. One gram, there it is. That's my Palladium full stack video. All right, <laughs> just to say I have Palladium, I kept one gram. Then we got Platinum, we got a one ounce Britannia, Platinum, and two half ounce Platinum Eagles. So um, I've actually done really well on Platinum. I sold some of it, and that is what's left of my Platinum. All right, guys, so that is 1,200 ounces of silver right about there. Look at that, 1,200 ounces. Never in a million years did I think I was going to have that much silver. But uh, that's what I'm saying. If you're persistent and don't give up, then eventually it'll all add up. And then we got the, these right here too. I forgot about these. These are our, uh, one and a half ounce Canadian foxes. And I think I got some uh, polar bears mixed in there too. And another roll of maples right there. All right, now for the gold. So like I said, I've put most of my money in the last two years into gold than I have with silver. I mean, pretty substantial amount in silver, but definitely way more in gold of late so this is what we got um i did do a full gold stack video not too long ago so i won't hang around too much but we got a 2009 one ounce gold panda this is before they switched so this is a full ounce of gold not the 30 gram then we got a half ounce 2010 we got a gold perth mint button these are really cool and this is uh, probably the most expensive piece of gold I have. This is the 50 gram uh, Pamp Swiss right here, another pour. That is uh, 1.6 ounces of gold. We got two $20 double eagles right there, four one ounce Krugerins, one filler harmonic, a beautiful 50 peso, which is 37.5 grams, like 1.2 ounces of gold. Right there, as you guys know, 31.1 grams is um, a full ounce. So, all right, then we got eagles. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gold eagles. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, gold maples, three gold buffaloes, 2020. I think uh, they're all pretty much newer. Uh, whenever I sell a buffalo, I usually just replace it. So I've gotten all kinds of different years. Three different Britannias, the Oriental Border, a 2019, and the brand new one, which I love, by the way. These are really nice, sharp design. I like it a lot. So uh, bought that not too long ago. Then we got a bunch of fractional. So we got a 10 lib. Uh, we got a half ounce Krugerin, half ounce Eagle, half ounce Eagle. Some 20 francs, that is from Hungary right here. 
That's a little bit bigger than normal uh, 20 franc. 20 pesos, which are my other favorite fractional gold. Some more 20 francs, and um, this one's from Belgium. I'm sorry, this is the Italian 20 lire. What am I saying? Yeah, right there, 20 lire. Then we got two $5 liberties, one fifth ounce um, trident. Once again, that design, I love it. So I bought the gold too. And I liked it because it was a different denomination. One fifth ounce, something a little different. Quarter ounce kangaroo. Then we got quarter ounce eagles right here. We got the queen's beast. Quarter ounce griffin and uh, lion which I wanted to really start getting more of those, but man, they got expensive fast, and I pretty much just stopped. I've been trying to get a dragon for a while, but they are um, a little bit more than what I want to spend. And then this year, guys, 2022, year of the tiger, uh, I'm gonna be buying a lot of this stuff because it is the 10 year anniversary of my stacking, so this is a commemorative year for me. And uh, tigers always do well in the secondary market, so. Then we got the one fourth ounce South Korean tiger, the lunar dog right here. That's another commemorative thing for me. That is when I got my dog for real. And also when I bought my house. So year of the dog was a good year. Then we got some more quarter ounce. We got a quarter ounce maple, a quarter ounce Libertad, which is kind of ridiculously expensive as well. Quarter ounce Britannia, Krugerin, more foreign. So let me get it back over here here we've already done that uh these are one tenth eagles got a bunch of those uh one tenth year of the dog one tenth eagle year of the mouse kookaburra some 20 francs right there those are roosters if we flip it around you'll see it bam there's the rooster that is a 20 kroner which is just over a quarter ounce of gold uh three grand oh no that is a one tenth ounce panda so that's a full 3.1 grams uh, year of the rooster, another kookaburra, year of the monkey, year of the ox, year of the pig. So as you can see, I, I like to collect the lunar stuff. We got a British sovereign, Jubilee head sovereign, and a Helvetia. So that is 45 ounces of gold uh, right there, including a lot of fractional. Now, uh, if you notice, if you look at some of my older gold videos, the fractional gold has started to dwindle a little bit. I have traded some up into these bigger pieces of gold, and uh, I don't recommend doing too much of them. So as you guys can tell, the premiums on uh, fractional gold has gone through the roof, and in the shop where I work, fractional gold is actually getting pretty hard to come by much harder than uh, one ounce gold. So just keep that in mind, the demand is high. And when the demand is high, the premiums are high. But as long as you continue to um, to buy, even with the premium and accumulate, I think it's worth it, 100%. So um, I still believe the one tenth ounce is a great place to start getting into gold. And you could also liquidate some of your silver to get into gold if you really want. So, but anyways, guys, there is the full stack video. 10 years, guys, in the making, right there. That is it. And I am dreading packing all this stuff up again. Oh, my God. All right. So, if you have any questions, make sure you um, leave a comment down in the comment section. Somebody or myself will get to you. But use this video as motivation, guys. If I can do it, uh, anyone can do it. Literally anybody can do it. You just got to be uh, really disciplined, really disciplined, and not buy with debt. So don't use your credit card to buy this stuff, especially if you're going to end up paying interest. It makes no sense. So if you were to pay off your credit card debt, I bet you, you will stack twice as fast and I am uh, pretty much a great example of that because like I said, I had a massive amount of debt and I have, because of that, I've had to liquidate this stack several times and come back and restack and liquidate and restack and liquidate. I mean, it has been a grind. And ever since I paid off all that credit card debt, I have been able to actually buy this stuff and hold it. So. 
It makes a huge difference. That is probably the best advice I can give you um, in this whole video. And basically stack at your own pace. This is not a competition. Whenever you see my stack or anybody else's stack, it is not a competition. Everybody is at a different level. But as long as you're diligent and you keep stacking, little by little, what you can afford and not overbuy, then you will achieve your goals, guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And I will see you guys in 10 more years. I'm just kidding. I'll probably do one sooner than that. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for all the things you've done for me and uh, managed to uh, you know support this channel that I am able to actually do this video and have people that actually are interested. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And here's to another 10 years. I will talk to you guys later. And happy Thanksgiving. Later.